For those who are bullish on AMC, you may just have the buying opportunity you've been looking for ever since we had our rally blow off and a subsequent smaller wave one. We are in the midst of what I'm calling a wave two. And if this wave two completes the way I'm expecting to complete and we pull into this purple box here, we've got ourselves a heck of a rally opportunity that could very quickly take us into the 77 to $82 range and eventually $91 $100, maybe even more than that. In the short term, if you watch my last update on AMC, the green pattern was our primary pattern. And that was calling for a wave one top somewhere in this purple box. But as you can see, we didn't quite make it into that target range. And that was based on a larger wave one blow off that we had earlier in the year back in June. So while we didn't make that target, we still hit a standard extension for what we call the subway five of this larger wave one, and we start to pull back. When we take a closer look, this looks like we just fell down a hill and there's no undulations. There's no other substructures within this. So I don't consider this a complete structure. This looks like an A wave to me. And it hit exactly at the 38% retrace from our wave one peak. That's what we got here. Now we could be done with this pullback. 38% is a textbook standard wave two retracement point. But I'm actually expecting us to bounce in a B wave, as you see here, and then have a lower low that should go no lower than about 38, 33, somewhere in that range. We may go a little bit lower, but really we don't want to go below 38, 14. That's about where we want to get in. So if you want to buy today, yesterday, both good times to start accumulating some AMC, you'll very likely have another opportunity to go long once we get into this box for the wave C. Now, if you want to enter a leveraged position by a call option, anything like that, you'll have the opportunity to do so in this box. But with leverage, you have to be extra careful with your position sizing and also your exit points. So please use a stop right at that 61.8% retrace. If you do plan to use leverage, I would not advise accumulating a leverage position just yet. Ideally, you bottom in your wave two and you have a small five wave impulse rally to confirm that the bottom has been struck and then you would enter. So that's what we're looking at for leverage. If we rally, our next targets on the upside are 76 to $82. And after a fourth wave consolidation, we have a much wider target range here just because of the various confluences and extensions we see here. I'm targeting a minimum of about $86, but this target box called goes all the way up beyond $100. And the reason for that is when we look at our big picture pattern, this is the daily view and it's a logarithmic chart. So I use this often in cryptos for the longer term views, but this is used when you have these really explosive rallies, or if you're looking at normal stocks and equities on the longer time scale. Here, we have a clear one, two that happened. The wave one was back in January. And then we had a really powerful rally, as many of you may already be aware, in June that topped. And really, that didn't go high enough to be a wave three in my book. This actually looks more like the top of a micro sub wave three. So I didn't put the markings here. But the point is that whether this is actually the wave three or this is a sub wave three of a larger wave three, this purple box represents a very likely target zone for this rally. And this could happen really quickly and explosively. Again, anywhere from the 113 to the 140 range. And we have upper targets here of 266 plus. So lots of opportunity here in the logarithmic picture for an explosive rally. Great buying opportunity here. So please remember to size your positions, commensurate to your risk tolerance. Don't go all in. And if you're trying to go leveraged buying call options, have patience. It's not yet time to buy those. We need more confirmation and potentially a lower low. If we break below this red line, this thing might pull back much lower. So that would invalidate this immediate upside setup. So until next time, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to read your comments below. Happy trading.